If your AV760 vacuum gauge is acting erratically, you may need to perform a cleaning. Here is a list of necessary and recommended tools for a successful cleaning. Begin the cleaning by removing the knurled fitting with soft jaw pliers. Always use a wrench to hold the gauge when removing the fitting. Remove the O-ring from the knurled fitting, being careful not to damage the O-ring. Next, remove the Mega Seal cap from the fitting. Using quick dry electronic cleaner, spray directly into the small hole of the fitting. Then set it aside with the small hole facing up to let the residual cleaner dry. You can also clean the fitting by putting a moderate amount of cleaner in a cup, then swirling the fitting around to agitate any contaminants. Let the fitting rest in the cleaner for several minutes to ensure all the oil is removed. Then set the fitting aside to let the cleaner dissipate. Once the cleaner has dissipated, shake the fitting and listen for a rattling noise. This will tell you if the ball inside the fitting is moving around freely. If you can't hear the ball moving, that means further cleaning is necessary. Use a pick to remove the oil catch filter from the gauge body. Do not attempt to remove the wire screen or put any tools through the screen. This will cause irreparable damage. To clean the gauge sensor, pour a small amount of the cleaner into the sensor housing. With a thumb covering the housing, gently shake the gauge for 5 to 10 seconds to agitate any contaminants. Then dump the cleaner out and let the gauge rest right side up for at least 15 minutes. After the gauge has rested, install a new oil catch filter. Then reattach the Mega Seal cap to the knurled fitting. Reinstall the O ring or install a new O ring if the old one is damaged. Add a small amount of high vacuum grease or dielectric grease to the O-ring and threading. Be sure to wipe any excess grease off of the sealing surface. While holding the gauge with a wrench, hand tighten the knurled fitting until snug. Never tool tighten a knurled fitting. Next, pull the gauge down to 50 microns to ensure a successful cleaning. Monitor the micron reading during the evacuation process to make sure the gauge is operating like new and any issues that were observed before cleaning have been resolved. If the gauge is still not working properly, please contact Appion directly. After pulling the gauge down, dab the oil catch filter to ensure there is no excess oil. If there is, replace it with a new one. Finally, perform an isolation test to ensure the gauge can hold a vacuum properly. Refer to our isolation test video for the step-by-step -step process. If you experience any issues with your AV760 or cleaning process, don't hesitate to contact Appion directly.